ironic of you to have your channel preview video be how to be a classy lady because you are not. See, four months ago, when I was laid up in a hotel squandering my stimulus check, I cried for you after I ran you down because I think that you faked your death. And after dragging you through the mud, I was like, oh, well, did she? Did you know? I was just like, I didn't know I did. I didn't know I did. But all in all, I thought, well, if she really is dead, I feel sorry for her. And then I see this nine hours ago. How many dead people do you know got an OnlyFans? How many dead? She can't say, oh, it's her managers running the page. Okay, well, then why aren't they advertising for their OnlyFans or their projects or whatever they got going on? Why would they name it in her name? See, I saw other YouTubers after, you know, if they had quieted down and people forgot about you. I noticed other YouTubers saying, oh, I got proof that some, well, one YouTuber, shout out to him, saying, oh, I got proof that Sunset is still alive. He even did an interview with your family. But Sonsere, people have family members and friends, loved ones, that have died for real from suicide. And you thought that it would be a great opportunity four months ago to get some attention when you lied and said you died? Now you trying to hide, acting like you sip some cyanide. Let me stop. But people want to know. I didn't know that people had OnlyFans. Is it OnlyFans Afterlife Edition? Like, somebody help me understand what's really going on. Beautiful graphic designer. Beautiful graphic design, I should say. But you are attention-starved, sorry excuse for a woman and business owner. It's your girl, Tiffany M. Draper. Let me know what y'all think. Santa Ray has risen from the grave.